Hello, this is Marshall from Carolina Custom Cages. We're here today to show you how to install your background into your Carolina Custom Cages terrarium. Carolina Custom Cages has 23 different model terrariums and a wide assortment of backgrounds to fit them all. From 20 longs to bio deeps to our largest terrarium, the tall extra long deep 72 by 24 by 36 model, each have their own background options and all available on our Amazon storefront. We also have backgrounds specifically sized for Exoterra's 36 by 18 by 12s and 36 by 18 by 18s, as well as backgrounds specifically sized for ZoomEd's 36 by 18 by 18s. For other non-Carolina custom cages terrariums, check our actual dimensions listed in the Amazon background descriptions and see if there's one close enough for you to use. For demonstration examples, we will be installing backgrounds on these terrarium models. The 48 by 24 by 24, which features sliding doors, the 36 by 18 by 18, which feature hinged doors, and the 30 by 12 by 12, which also feature a different hinged door build. Let's get started. The installation tools you will need are scotch tape or clear packing tape, scissors or a straight edge cutting tool, a ruler, and a pen or pencil. The cutting tool may be needed for the terrariums with hinged doors, such as the 24 inch, 36 inch, and 20 long series. And lastly, especially for larger models, we suggest you have a second person to help. Your background comes alone in one of two containers, a white corrugated box or a brown craft tube. The background that comes in the craft tube will have some foam covering the ends for damage protection during shipping that slip off easily. Pull the background roll out, unravel it, and lay it flat on a surface with the image facing up. Since your background will be taped from the back around to the sides of your terrarium, using a dry cloth, First, wipe down the back of the background and the outside of the tank for dust, which is optimal for the adhesive tape. For the purposes of this demonstration, we will be identifying parts of the backgrounds and terrariums as if we are facing the front of them. For the backgrounds, we will identify this corner as the top left, top center, top right, bottom left, bottom center, and bottom right. As for the terrariums, this is the top frame, hinge doors, center back, base tray line, front corner feet, and back corner feet. We'll start with our popular 36 by 18 by 18 model. We will be taping the background from the center back out to the sides. With someone's help, stage the background around the outside of the terrarium, from the back onto the sides to make sure you have the right size. As you stage the background around the outside back and sides of the terrarium, you will find that the background may overlap the area on the sides where the door hinges are located. Opening the doors will interfere a bit with the background sides. Using your pen, mark the small strip that needs to be cut off for the hinge door to open unobstructed. Take the background off the terrarium from staging and with your cutting tool, carefully cut and remove the slip from the side or sides of the background. Now restage the background around the back and sides of the terrarium to see if you cut the right amount to allow the doors to open unobstructed. If the new length is satisfactory, then you are ready to continue with the installation. Let's continue the demonstration with our 36 by 18 by 18 model. First, prepare a few small strips of tape as anchors for the background. Next, with someone's help, stage the background around the back and sides. Once you have the background staged in place, you'll want to line up the bottom of the background with the bottom edge of the glass connected to the black base of the terrarium. Bottom alignment is best. With some models, you may have a small gap on the glass that the background does not cover. So bottom alignment is best for looks as you will only want outside light to enter from above. Also, with some models, you will have to wrap the background over the corner feet just a bit so that it lines up with the bottom of the glass connecting to the base tray. When you have the background even on the sides and level with the bottom, then hold it in place and find the outside center of the back of the terrarium. Use a small strip of tape to secure the center of the background to the terrarium. Place a piece at the center bottom and center top of the background onto the terrarium backside. With the center back of the background secure, go around the outside with small strips of tape and anchor spots at the top frame and the bottom over the base. You'll want to get strips of tape on the top and bottom corners, especially for a solid fit. For the door hinge models, you will need to tape the background to a small strip on the side panel glass close to the door hinge. As for the sliding door models like the 482424, you will be taping the background to the corner flange. Once the background is anchored to key spots on the terrarium and looks the way you want it, then use longer strips of tape to fully secure the background to the terrarium. 
Now that you have your background installed, consider our many other products for lighting and accessories to dress up your terrarium. Visit us at carolinadesignerdragons.com and Carolina Custom Cages on Amazon.